I'd like to ask Archangel Michael to protect this space so that only beings of unconditional love may enter this space. Any beings that are not of unconditional love may not enter this space. Thank you, Archangel Michael. And also protect the space of those who watch the video. So I'm now going to set the tone. Okay, we're now going to inhale for three seconds, for five seconds, sorry, and exhale for five seconds to get ourselves centered. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. I'd like you to stand, make yourself small and stand in the gateway of your third eye and step through. This is a gateway to different worlds. On the other side you'll see Cleopatra waiting for you. And she is a master, she's an alchemist, and she's got a magic potion for you today. She's going to take you into her temple, and in her temple, there are lots of crystals. There's amethyst, that is the main one um, for the third eye. She's also got lapis lazuli in there. The whole atmosphere is vibrating very high. You'll notice a difference in her temple. Um, she wants you to take a seat and get comfortable. She's now going to hand you her potion that she's mixed together. And it contains powerful crystals. It's got um, the properties of emerald. She's soaked the um, pure water, so the crystals, and you're going to get the elixir from the crystals. So she's got, in this potion, she soaked the emerald crystals and also the ruby crystals. So it's a very, emerald's a very powerful healer and ruby is very good for psychic attacks and protecting you. She's also mixed some other things in this potion and she now wants you to drink this potion. She's handing you a chalice and she wants you to take a sip. So you can now lie down if you feel more comfortable. Um, she wants you to close your eyes and we're going to go on a journey and to take us on this journey is Jaguar. Jaguar wants you to step onto, um, sit on the back of his back. And now going to go on a journey. Into the jungle. So just imagine riding on Jaguar's back. There's a storm brewing. 
and it's raining. It's taking you deep into the jungle. So on the way, you may see different things, whatever your imagination shows you on this journey. You may see other creatures on the way. Cleopatra is taking you on the journey of forgiveness. You're nearly at the place, you've nearly arrived at the place where you need to be. and you'll see some other people there and they're all sitting around a fire okay you now sat around the fire there's a group of people there they're starting to feel a a bit light headed and just watching the flames the fire and I have the shaman that sat in the fire well not in the fire sorry the shaman sat there and he's going to start drumming he's going to take you on a journey And he wants you to just think of your enemy, whoever that may be. There must be someone that you don't get on too well with. He wants you to think of this enemy. And the potion that you've just taken from Cleopatra has a potent plant in there. And it makes you have unconditional love for everybody and everything. So the shaman wants you to keep the your enemy in mind. And just think of all the things that you've been through. And just throw them into the fire. Let the 
before I transmute them. Now just regenerate this unconditional love in your heart chakra. If it helps, rub the heart chakra area with your hands until it feels warm. Imagine it warm like the fire in your heart chakra. And the potion is really starting to take effect now. You're feeling really hot. And you're feeling a lot of unconditional love. And you're transmuting all the past hurts into the fire. So just relax. We've now transmuted all the hurt, past hurt and problems that we've had with this person into the fire. And the shaman wants you to know that you're all one. You're all playing a different role to help us learn, to help each other learn. But we all come from that one source, that one God spark. And he wants you to go over to your enemy now, give them a hug, and see your enemy as their higher self in the higher realm. And they only speak words of love to you. Just imagine that. Your enemy just speaking to you with total unconditional love. And they're treating you how, they, how you always wanted them to treat you. And how you deserve to be treated. So just take that feeling in your heart through... 
few moments longer. <clears throat> I'd like to thank the shaman and for Cleopatra to bring in us to this place. And this is the place where we forgive our enemies. When we forgive them, then we can move on. We've left it all in the fire. And now we can move on. So... So it's time for us to have a bit of fun. Um, we haven't got an enemy anymore. And we're going to join the group around the fire and just have a happy time together. Enjoy some music with the shaman and fellow friends. Sing along, dance, tap your feet, whatever feels right for you.
okay. So you've had a great time. You made friends with your enemy. Now I'm going to head on back. Say goodbye to the shaman and thank the shaman. And now heading on back on Jaguar. And you've got the melody playing in your head. Okay, imagine yourself now small and standing outside of the gateway of your third eye. Step through into your body and grow roots for your feet into Gaia. Let the roots go really deep down into the core of the earth. Let your roots go down into the core of the earth and when you feel grounded enough just open your eyes so i hope you enjoyed the meditation i'm not going to turn the camera around because it's too dark to see um and i hope that you've found some forgiveness in your heart through the meditation for your enemy and this will give you a great release if you were able to do this. So we're now going to do some uplifting heart chakra light language.